friends welcome back to my channel my name is Mary Ellen and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you what I sewed in May if you're new here please like this video and subscribe for more sewing videos okay so for the month of May I made five things and I'm gonna start with the smallest of those which are headbands I got the pattern the Eloise headband pattern by what Bella made I'll link everything below. Um, she is awesome and she has some great sewing resources on her Instagram and that's how I found this pattern and they're really cute um, either knotted or just like banded headbands and I'll try this one on. They're really cute and you know you can make a lot of them with like fabric scraps that's what these two are um, and they're a really great way to use up those extra fabric scraps and yeah I have this one in a quilt cotton from Joanne it's like cute pastel flowers and then this is a chambray really pretty so, yeah so this is I believe view B which is the knotted version and then this is view A, I think, which is just the banded version. The instructions are really clear and yeah, it was really cool to sew a fabric headband like this. And I just got a multi-pack of like plain headbands. I believe these are half inch or like three-fourths inch off of Amazon um, or it might have been Etsy. I'll link a couple options below. But it came in like a pack of 50 for about $20. So. I think it's a pretty good deal and I'll be able to make you know a bunch more headbands with my upcoming fabric scraps. Next up I made the Petra shorts and I actually filmed a video of the process of making these and it should be on my channel so go check that out. Um, I'll insert a couple photos and a video. Um, a couple things I made a size 14 my waist measurement is a 32 inch and then my hips are 42 inches and so that put me into the size 14 um, it fits really well I was so I made it out of a four ounce denim um, or a lyocell denim and it's really slinky and has a lot of drape so I was a little bit worried that um, the back rise was kind of cutting into my bottom a little bit um, and you can see that in the video but I think it is just exaggerated because of the fabric so I'm not going to do any adjustments on my next version but I think I'm going to use a, a fabric with more structure like a linen um, and see if that issue subsides some. If it doesn't then I might lengthen the back rise or the crotch curve by like an inch or so um I'm not sure yet I don't really think it's going to be a problem and I don't think it really is currently a problem um just because it's so gathered in the back I don't really think any extra attention gets drawn to that I think I'm just being picky and a little bit self-conscious about that but um either way I love the shorts and I think they're super flattering um, and a really cool design and I know I'll get a lot of use out of them this summer. Okay up next I made the Lola top by Stay Stitch Pattern Company. This is a really cool um, like skinny high neck tank top. I made two. I made one in white and one in navy. It is a stretch pattern so I made them in jersey that I got from Joanne. I'll insert a couple photos of the navy one and I have the white one here to show you guys a little bit more close up. All right, here it is on a hanger, but you can see it's a pretty skinny like neckline. And I think you can wear it like the other way around too. I think I've seen some people do that. So I might try that on and see how it looks. Um, but I, I did some twin needle top stitching here and then I made the full length version. 
There is also a cropped version, but it's just, you know, a line marked on the pattern piece. Um, I might do that at some point, maybe in some athletic wear fabric to make like a running top or something like that. And I have seen some folks put a shelf bra in. I might do that also. I don't have any experience doing a shelf bra or adding one in to any garment and I think that is a cool skill to have. So I think I'm going to be doing that in my next version. Um, definitely if it's an athletic top because I don't want to be layering a bra and a top. <laughs> um, but yeah, this pattern came together really quickly. I made a size 12. Um, my bust is a 38, hips 32, and waist 42. I don't have the um, size chart handy right now, but I will pop it up on the um, screen. I think I sized up from what the size chart put me in. And I think I would have been fine with a size 10, but I just wanted to size up um, just to kind of see how it fit. And it fits nice, so I, I'm, I'm glad I sized up to a 12. Um, but yeah, I, as I said, I made it in a navy also, and I definitely see myself making more of these in the future. Okay, the last thing I made in May is the Anthea Top. Um, it's by Anna Allen Clothing, and I love it. Um, I made it in this beautiful chambray, the same fabric as that headband, and I have these cute um, like ivory buttons that I got from um, the same fabric store that I got this fabric at called Mulberry Silks in Carborough, North Carolina. Um, this is also a really easy make, um, or you know, simple enough, and it came together pretty quickly. Um, a couple things that I did with this construction that I haven't done before is I used some fray check and um, on my buttonholes before I cut them open and I used beeswax to coat my thread before I sewed my button on and those two things I'll be doing from now on. Um, I should have been doing them sooner but that's okay. Um, I do notice some rising up of this top when I wear it. Um, so I think I'll be addressing a high round back adjustment. I could have sworn that I did one um, before I made it, but I'll need to check that pattern. And if I did, I'll need to do it in a different way. I believe there are two ways you can do a high round back adjustment. Um, and I'm kind of researching and learning the other way that I don't know how to do that I think is a little bit more precise. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to go or do a video on making a high round back adjustment on the Nora top by So Bake Make um, because I made a like twall of it um, out of some um, linen that I had like a yard and a half and I like how it fits um, or how it looks, but I definitely need a high round back adjustment because it rises up. Um, so I think I'm going to be doing this new method of, of that um, in the Nora top and I will film that and see how that goes because I would love to make a tiered uh, midi or maxi dress from the Nora top and just um, hack it but I really want it to be fitting properly before I buy nice fabric and make that. Um, so yeah, that is going to be a change that I make on my next Anthea top as well as lengthening it. Um, it hits me like probably right at my hip bone, but if I want to tuck it in, I think it needs to be like at least a couple of inches longer. So I think I will do that in my next version. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that comes out. I'm sure it'll be just fine. I do still love it, and I obviously still wear it. Um, but I think making some adjustments for my next version will make me love it even more. All right, that wraps up my short video of my May makes. I wish I sewed more, but I just don't really have the time. I'm traveling a lot on the weekends because I'm 
Um, my boyfriend lives about two and a half hours away, so that eats up a lot of my sewing time. Um, so hopefully in the near future I will have more sewing time. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned. I will be making either the Nora top high round back adjustment video next or the June makes video. I don't know. I'm going to really try to get that Nora top video out before I do my June mix because I need to catch up on videos. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.